Dear viewers, every crisis tells a story and often sows along the seeds of reform. The year was 1991. India was at the edge of an economic cliff. Our forex reserves had dried up, the fiscal deficit had ballooned, and we were staring at a balance of payments crisis. It was a crisis of our own making, a result of decades of tight regulations, government control, and a system that stifled innovation and never incentivized growth. But sometimes, you need to hit rock bottom to bounce up. That's exactly what happened. In the aftermath came the era of liberalization, privatization, and globalization. Red tapeism came down and Indian economy finally got the room to breathe and grow. Fast forward to today and that pivot has paid off. We have now surpassed Japan to become the fourth largest economy in the world. A big leap indeed. But this is no time to get complacent. The global economy is witnessing some serious shifts in alliances, making supply chains fragile. From global chip shortages and rare earth supply disruptions to geopolitical tensions and shifting alliances, the message is loud and clear. India needs to be self-reliant in critical sectors and should not wait for a crisis to end. An example of this drive is the recent cabinet approval for four semiconductor plants in Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, and Punjab, with a total investment of rupees forty-six billion. The companies involved include SIC Sem, Continental Device India, 3D Glass Solutions, and Advanced System and Package Technologies. None of these is a listed entity. With this, India's total investment in semiconductors now stands at a whopping rupees one point six trillion. But why is a homegrown semiconductor ecosystem becoming critical? Well, chips are not just for phones and laptops anymore. They are the heart of everything, from modern warfare to communication, for precision navigation, and for smart devices. In short, chips are the new oil, and the countries that control this supply chain will hold the real power. This is why India Semiconductor Mission is not just a government project; it is a decadal theme for investors, entrepreneurs, and policymakers alike. My team and I have been tracking companies that are quietly building India's semiconductor future. Today, let me introduce you to two less obvious players making strategic moves. The first is Arkin Chemical Industries. This might surprise you, but one of the companies greenlit for semiconductor fab, that is SIC Sem, is actually a subsidiary of Arkin Chemical Industries. Known primarily for its marine chemical business, Arkin is the largest exporter of elemental bromine from India. The company is now at a turning point. It is stepping into high-tech territory with plans for specialty mud chemicals and energy storage solutions. Its new venture, SIC Sim, aims to manufacture advanced silicon carbide devices, which are key components in EVs, renewable energy systems, and defense applications. Arkin is net debt-free, has strong operating margins, and now it has a front-row seat in India's semiconductor story. The second is Agutas Chemicals or Ami Organics, another name you may not immediately associate with chips, but this specialty chemicals company is making strategic moves. It recently entered a JV in South Korea, Indicam, holding a 75% stake and investing rupees 1.9 billion. With a 25% stake, the Korean partner brings tech and market access. The goal is to make specialty chemicals used in chip production with target markets in Japan and Taiwan. Both power houses in the global semiconductor industry. Now, to be clear, both these companies come with their fair share of risks, as do all businesses venturing into new territories. This is not a stock recommendation. Instead, look at it as an attempt to keep your radar tuned to these decadal shifts. In the years to come, the global semiconductor race will reshape economies. India has a chance to be more than just a participant. We can be a serious contender. And as always, those who notice the quiet moves before the loud headlines often stand to benefit the most. Hope you found this information useful. For more such videos, subscribe to Equity Master YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.